For the first decade of reanimation career, Walt Disney was still part of the Walt Disney studio. It's an extraordinary opportunity you had to be there during Walt's time. What do you remember about your interactions with Walt beyond that first meeting? Oh, beyond the first meeting, it turned out that every Friday, uh, his secretary, Dolores Boyd, would call me up and say, Walt has wanted you to do uh, something for him. So I'd come in into his office and he'd give me his check for uh, $300. And he wrote it every, every, every Friday. And I'd take it over there to uh, uh, payroll and they would cash it for me and I'd come back and I'd give it to him. And you know, after about a couple of times, I thought he certainly is not getting very much money. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and Dolores said to me, "No, it's his spending money for the week, just for tips." <laughs> as you started as an animator, you had the opportunity to learn from some of the greatest artists in the history of the medium, the folks that we now refer to as Walt Disney's legendary nine old men. How often today? Do you find yourself remembering or even calling upon things you learned from those artists? Oh, quite often. I mean, it was ingrained in us early on. You, you, uh, you know, things like like Mark Davis when I was his assistant there on Sleeping Beauty. Uh, he said to me, "Just remember," he says, "25 percent of it is the doing it." The the rest of it, 75%, that's the thinking about it before you animate or do anything. So those, those little th things you remember, you know, as you're doing.